Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, creator of all, we ask that your blessings be upon this time and this moment as we gather to conduct business. We pray that you bless our mayor, bless our vice mayor, bless our city manager, and bless all those who come with the intention of making our city better. We ask for your vision, your wisdom, and guidance and strength in this moment, and we pray that you bless our city. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let the Lord Jesus Christ of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. 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 Amen.
Uh, we've worked very hard for that. And there's another speaker, uh, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Jennings from the Civic League has come to speak in support as well, even though you have the letters in support. He wanted to be here personally to support the application. So I'm happy to answer any questions you or the other members might have, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Nutter. Uh, we have uh, Herbert Ballard, Sr., 130 Bellamy Avenue. Mr. Ballard, are you here? All right. Would you like to speak or just wanted to be acknowledged? All right. Okay. Uh, John Hines. Do you want to? Speak? Okay. All right. Uh, Mike Ash. Any questions? Good to see you. And uh, Ronnie Jennings. You good? You want to speak, sir? Yes, sir. Please come forward. Please welcome. Good evening, City Council. Good evening. Mr. Mayor, City Council. Please yes, come closer to the mic so we can hear you, Mr. Jennings. My name is Ronnie Jennings. I'm at 1625 Colton Avenue, Norfolk, and with the Beacon Light Civic Center, Civic League. I just think that this project would be great for the Berkeley area. I've talked to Mr. Arnetta and the attorney and the uh, his associates, and I think that would bring a tax base to us. Because, you know, in this area, under the Davis Beacon Act, we are living under poverty. And the only thing that uh, we're trying to do to bring this area and this community back to its normal living. And I just think it would be so good for us if you could see fit to allow this. And um, I just wanted to say that I think it would be great for the Berkeley area. Thank you very much. Mr. Riddick? Yeah, um, I was excited about this uh, five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, and it sort of um, it went away. But I was extremely excited when it came back, and the uh, the fact that uh, this development is going to be uh, market rich. Uh, it's an, an extremely uh, well um, put together project, and uh, what it says to me is that. Uh, is recognized that the uh, South Side is uh, is a viable part of the community. Now, what I will say, I was uh, asked Mr. Jennings earlier at the uh, South Side Task Force meeting. One of the concerns is the fact that, and Mr. Nutter and his group have already said that they were going to use, uh, you know, local labor, and this is one thing that we uh, missed the boat on when it came to building these five schools. Uh, <clears throat> the community was uh, was drastically overlooked. But uh, I support this project. I think it's a great project. And uh, I just wish them all the success in the world with it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Jennings. Thank you so right. very much. Thank you. All right. all right, Mr. Clark. I have an ordinance to amend Section 27-27 of the Zoning Ordinance of the City of Norfolk, 1992, so as to revise the plan of development for the River's Edge at Berkeley Residential Plan Development District. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. PH4? Public hearing four is scheduled for this day on the application of Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority for a change of zoning from R12 medium density multifamily and Bayfront Residential Parking Overlay District to C3 Retail Center on the 10-foot rear portion of properties located at 9548 through 9574 21st Bay Street and by a 5-0 vote Planning Commission recommends approval. Thank you, Jim uh, Holloman. Hall Any? Yes, sir, he's good. Any okay. All right. I think we're in good shape. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. I have an ordinance to rezone a portion of the properties located at 9548 to 9574 21st Bay Street from R12 and BFRPO to C3. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Ms. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Uh, Tell me, tell me about this. Yeah, um, Mr. Mayor, who the owner of the shopping center who's here, uh, has uh, invested quite a bit of money in renovating the shopping center, mm -hmm. and it's attracted um, some new retail, and their Dollar Tree is leasing a large portion of the space. In order to do that, they um, need a loading dock in the back. The mm -hmm. property that's behind that is owned by the NRHA, and it, uh, the property, I believe, goes 150 feet, and so they've sold 10 feet of that mm -hmm. to Mr. Mayor 
Uh, originally, it was just going to be one portion, but the Planning Commission delayed it and asked that they um, consider just giving the whole strip because then it would have made all the parcels of the land mm -hmm. awkward uh, next to it. Okay. You, you all right with it? Yeah, that's, yeah okay. and Civic Week supports yeah. it as well. Okay, I vote aye. Mr. Thank Smigel? You. Thank you for asking. Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. All right. Uh, R2. R1, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. R1. R1 is an ordinance requesting the Virginia Department of Transportation to establish projects for the West Ocean View flyover, the citywide ADA ramp construction phase three, and the Granby Street Bayview Boulevard intersection improvements in accordance with the programmatic project administration agreement between the city and VDOT and appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of $3,540,000 for the project subject to and in accordance with the terms of the aforesaid agreement. Mr. Clark, no one has uh, registered to speak. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? I wanted to just make a, one quick comment. I asked for this to be continued last time. I thank you to my fellow council members. We had a community meeting the day after. Um, and while uh, not everybody is excited about this uh, possibility of, of an at-grade intersection, I think the community understands it. And I would just encourage that we um, ensure that we have the right signalization so that we don't have we can we can mitigate the backups at, at fourth view um, So thank you, and I vote aye <coughs> Mr. Riddick aye. Mr. Smigel aye. Mr. Thomas aye. Mr. Alexander aye. R2 Norden's granting a special exception authorizing the operation of an entertainment establishment with alcoholic beverages known as Collector Norfolk on property located at 2409 Fawn Street and by 5-0 vote Planning Commission oh. recommends approval Yeah um, Yeah um, you know, I look. I think I look at this property, and I remember when um, the uh, farm market wanted to sell Virginia wine, and it was a very uh, contentious uh, proposal. And I just want to make sure that Faith Deliverance Christian Center. I like to hold it to make sure that Faith Deliverance Christian Center, the Presbyterian Church, and there's another little small church right on the corner of uh, 26 and Fawn, that they have an opportunity to come in and and you know talk about it. So, Mr. Clerk, the motion is to continue to a date specific? Yes. Um, we can continue it to October 11, okay. Mr. Mayor. Yes. And then we can make sure George and, and plan and get in touch with Faith Delivering Christian Center at a Presbyterian church on 29th and fine, and then there's another church on 26th and fine. All right. Now, Ron Meadows is here for, to answer any questions. You good with that? Uh, may I? Approach? Yes, please. Come on, please. Welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, City Council. I appreciate being here. Um, the The third church you're referring to is the Herald of His Coming on 26 and Fawn. Right. And actually, that is the church that we've developed a relationship with to uh, do all the parking for our events. And so we just met with the pastor uh, a few days ago about that, and they're going to let us use the parking lot um, okay. for events there. So if you guys have any questions at all or anything, I can kind of help shed some light on, I'd be glad to answer anything. Um, we, as long as we can get those other two churches to come in, the one that you're talking about is going to be closest to you. And so right. it seems like when you come back in October, if they're all right with it, then the other two might. But I want to just make sure they have an opportunity to have an opinion on it. Yes, sir. Mrs. Johnson? Have you had an opportunity to discuss it with the Civic League? Yes, we have. Villa Heights, the Civic League bias, and there's an email I'm not sure if it's in, it's in, in the these pack. notes, in but the they uh, mm -hmm. gave approval to it, and we're excited about it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so the motion is to continue. Yes. Yes. All right, uh, Mr. Clerk. Oh. Continue October 11. Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Ms. McClellan. Um, my only concern here is. Um, was there not notification provided to the churches based on their proximity um, initially, and they just didn't respond? That's a good question. Because if, if, if they were notified and they didn't respond, I will take that as uh, n yeah. not an issue. Uh, Ms. McClellan, I, I apologize. And, and Mr. Tahan and I have just been talking about one of the process improvements we're going to make starting your next meeting. We're going to give you a list of who got no, who received uh, mailed notification. I can't answer that question. I do not know if um, we mailed notice to either 
of the churches that uh, Mr. Riddick um, mentioned. Okay. If they were within 100 feet, they would have received it automatically, They're, they're not within 100 okay. feet. Okay, so, so they wouldn't, yeah. I, I, it, 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 Almost certainly we did not mail notice to them. Okay, that, thank you. I just, for future reference, I think that that would be helpful to, to know. Mm -hmm. So um, I vote aye for the continuance. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. Thank you. R3? An ordinance granting a special exception authorizing the operation of an entertainment establishment with alcoholic beverages known as Borgia Coffee House on property located at 4416 Monarch Way and by 5-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. All right. Uh, Greg Hartman is here to answer any questions. <coughs> All right, Mr. Clerk. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves. Um, I'm glad to vote for this, but I, who's from the Borgia House? Um, you, they have great I'm milkshakes. Oh, you're here for R5. Is there anybody here from this, for this? No? Well, they have great milkshakes anyway. Um, but I vote aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Wow, are they underwriting tonight's uh, city council meeting? <laughs> I like them too. Uh, aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? She'll get them to serve dinner to us one time too, probably. At least milkshakes. Aye. <laughs> Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. All right, R5. We're four, Mr. President. An ordinance granting a special exception authorizing the operation of an eating and drinking establishment named Clementines on property located at 110 Lavalette Avenue, Suite C, by 5-0 vote. Planning Commission recommends approval. All right, Mr. Clerk. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. Now R5. Yes, sir. An ordinance granting a special exception authorizing the operation of an eating and drinking establishment named Exception Ale on property located at 2000 Colonial Avenue, Suite 6, by 5-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. You have no opposition, Mr. Clerk? Dispense for the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? I don't think they have milkshakes there, but I still vote aye. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R6. An ordinance accepting an easement from Lake Wright Retail Investors LLC for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a public sidewalk and authorizing the city manager to execute the deed of easement on behalf of the city. Uh, uh, Stephen is here to answer any questions. There is no opposition. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R7. An ordinance dedicating certain property owned by the city as public right of way in connection with the Military Highway Continuous Flow Intersection Project. Dis dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R8. An ordinance approving a non exclusive telecommunications franchise agreement with Mobile M Mobility LLC. Mr. Clerk, there's a motion to continue and to a date specific to October the 11th. Is that Ms. Johnson? Is to Ms. Johnson? Yeah. What was the reason for continuing? Ms. Johnson? We want it. Um, I want it more clarity and a presentation on exactly what this fully means. I, I don't think there's any big rush. But the change is just one sentence in section one that clarifies that um, the franchise can um, sublease. I, I, that it's no problem continuing it, but I'll leave that with you. Continue it. Okay. Mr. Clerk. Okay, continue to October 11. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Just, um, Sometimes there's items that come up on our agenda that we find out things and we do continue it. But just as a courtesy, uh, council members, if you have items that you wish to be continued, if we can know in advance a reason why, it sounds like that other people know that continuations are happening, but we, we're not being told until we get up here about it. Um, so just out of respect to us, if we can do that. I know, like I said, sometimes stuff does come up while we're talking and we have to delay that but just if there's something just let us know please thank you aye mr thomas aye mr alexander aye 
R, um, R9. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a right of entry agreement with Richard C. Hood and Sharon S. Smith regarding the property located at 1432 Gates Avenue in connection with the Jeff Robertson Park Stormwater Wetland Project. Sorry, there's no one here to oppose. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R10? An ordinance authorizes the city manager to enter into a right of entry agreement with the Commonwealth of Virginia Department of Transportation and Corman E.V. Williams, a joint venture for work related to the Virginia Department of Transportation Military Highway Continuous Flow Intersection Project. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R11. An ordinance to amend and reordain sections 25-653, 654, and 656 of the Norfolk City Code 1979 so as to add three new yield intersections, six new stop intersections, and three new streets included in the prohibition regarding trucks of one and one half tons. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R12? An ordinance finding a public necessity for the acquisition and fee simple of the property interest owned by Joshua Pretlow Jr., Ann Pretlow Henderson, T. Kirk Pretlow, and Jenny Pretlow Barrett in certain property located in the city of Suffolk at the Western Branch Reservoir, approving the purchase and sales agreement and authorizing the expenditure of a sum of up to $256,000 from funds heretofore appropriated for acquisition of the property and all related transactional costs. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? I'm a little confused by this. Is this property worth buying or selling in stuff? Uh, uh, the utilities department recommended its purchase for the protection of uh, water resources in Suffolk. Okay. Would we be buying? Okay. All right. Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R13. An ordinance granting Berman Realty LLC permission to encroach into the right of way at 1316 Collie Avenue, approximately 386 square feet, for the purpose of outdoor dining and approving the terms and conditions of the encroachment agreement. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R14. An ordinance granting SLNWC Office Company LLC permission to encroach into the rights of way of Monticello Avenue and Charlotte Street at 440 Monticello Avenue, approximately 37 square feet for the purpose of outdoor dining and approving the terms and conditions of the encroachment agreement. Thank you. Uh, Stephen Romain is here to answer any questions. There is no opposition. Mr. Clark? Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R16. An ordinance approving a temporary right of entry agreement with Selco Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless, granting permission to cross a portion of city owned property at 723 Spotswood Avenue for the purpose of installing and maintaining an aerial fiber route and antennas on an existing power pole. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R17? R16, Mr. President. I'm sorry, 16. An ordinance authorizing an amendment uh, to a lease between the Virginia Stage Company and the city for property located at 220 Bush Street and authorizing the city manager to execute the agreement of uh, the amendment on behalf of the city. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R17. An ordinance approving the acceptance of the Norfolk Drug Treatment Court Grant Award of $250,000 from the Supreme Court of Virginia for the Adult Drug Court Program and program fees up to $15,000 and appropriating the grant funds and program fees and authorizing the expenditure of $78,500 from previously appropriated funds as a local cash match. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R18. 
an ordinance accepting $348,950 from the Stormwater Local Assistance Fund grant for the implementation of flood reduction and environmental sustainability and appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of said amount and $348,950 in matching funds for the Ann Newton Pond Retrofit Water Quality Improvement Project. All right, Ellis W. James. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Members of the council, Mr. Jones, I'd like to just make it for the record that uh, a taxpayer is in support of this item because this is one more step in the direction that we are proceeding down that road to try to deal with our stormwater problems and so on. And I think this is going to be uh, another one of those projects that uh, certainly citizens in Norfolk, uh, especially if you're on the NEC, ought to be in support of. I would urge the council to vote unanimously in support of this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome, Mr. James. Mr. Clark, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R19? An ordinance accepting a victim witness grant award of $715,553 from the Virginia Department of Criminal Justice Services for the continuation of the FY17 Victim Witness Assistance Program, appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of the grant funds, and authorizing the employment of 13 persons in a special project employment status. Welcome, Mr. James. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. My name is Ellis W. James. I reside at 2021 Ken Lake Place here in the city of Norfolk. Um, once again, this issue is, is before us, and it is an extremely important one given the problems that we have in our community and the problems that spill over from the peninsula side and impact our area also. Um, witness assistance is the one thing that can help us bridge the gap between our police department and our officers, both the men and the women who so importantly patrol our streets and try to make our neighborhoods safe. And being able to have funding for those persons who are willing to step forward and do the right thing as a citizen is extremely important. And I would urge that you all vote unanimously in support of this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Betsy Powell is here to answer any questions. If we have any questions, Betsy, good seeing you. No opposition. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R20. <clears throat> An ordinance accepting $5,000 in grant funds from the Virginia Commission for the Arts, appropriating and authorizing the funds and authorizing the expenditure of $5,000. Uh, in local cash matching funds for distribution on a competitive basis to local arts organizations. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Clark. We have two, Deborah Burrell and uh, Terrence Alpha Anderson. Both welcome. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council Members, and Mr. Jones. Uh, my name is Terrence Alpha Anderson, and I didn't bring any milkshakes this evening. Uh, <laughs> Next time. But I live at 1210 Colonial Avenue, uh, apartment number 1206 in Norfolk, Virginia, and I am a uh, commissioner on the Norfolk Commission on the Arts and Humanities. On behalf of the commission and the citizens of Norfolk, we wanted to take a moment to thank the council uh, and the city of Norfolk for its uh, deep and exemplary support of the arts and culture in Norfolk. Uh, no other city in Virginia offers the level of art that Norfolk enjoys. Uh, the allocation from the general fund, as well as this grant, will allow the commission to help support the 30 arts organizations that provide art to every neighborhood in the city of Norfolk. And we just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so very much. You're welcome. 
And I'm just here to answer questions. All right. If you have any. I think we're in good shape. Thank, 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 thank you both for what you thank do for you. the arts. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Mr. Clerk. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopting Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Ms. McClellan. As a former arts commissioner, I appreciate that. Um, also, a shout out. We have the Neon Arts Festival happening this weekend. Um, hope everybody gets down to our arts district. Yes, I. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagle. Aye. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Mr. Alexander. Aye. R21. An ordinance amending ordinance number 46499 regarding exemption from real estate taxes for two parcels of real property of First Baptist Church of Campo Stella Trust, retroactive to September 1, 2014, and one parcel retroactive to January 1, 2015, so as to correct the number of parcels and the revenue impact to the city and its taxpayers for granting retroactive exemption from $5,439.89 to $525.30. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? You know, I vote aye on this, but every time we have one of these retroactive tax exemptions, my mind always goes back to First Baptist Church, Butte Street, when we would not retroact anything for them. But I vote aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R22. Mr. President, uh, for R22 through R31, um, I'll read just a uh, single motion and then itemize the numbers for these. Uh, R22 through R31 are ordinances directing the city treasurer to issue refunds, including interest, for the following amounts to the following businesses. $14,598.74 to Canon Solutions America for overpayment of the business personal property taxes for 2016. $2,538.82 to F. Sullivan Callahan for business personal property taxes for 2016. $18,313.13 to Hudson NIA JV of Norfolk for business personal property taxes for 2016. $5,124.01 to LP Norfolk for business personal property taxes for 2016. And all of these are for 2016. $12,554.75 to Macy's Retail Holding for business license tax. 16771 to Merrill Lynch uh, for business personal property tax. $2,974.73 to North Title LLC for occupational license tax. For years 2013 through 2016, $3,490.55 to Orion Marine Construction for business per personal property tax. $6,298.40 to Pearson Thornton for business license tax, $3,730.51 to Universal Air Products Corporation for business personal property tax. Mr. Clerk, we will vote in uh, R22 through R31 in the block. Yes, sir. The member has an objection. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinances and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R32. R32 is a letter from the city clerk transmitted an abstract of votes cast in the city at the special election of August 23, 2016, and the recommendation is received and filed. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? I vote aye, and I'd like to welcome Mr. Thomas and congratulate him and look for good work with you. Thank you. Mr. Smeagol? I was wondering what would happen if council voted no on this. Does that mean <laughs> you can't take a seat? <laughs> Tommy, do you, do you want to make a motion to continue? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Uh, yes, aye. Uh, R33? An ordinance to schedule a meeting uh, between the Norfolk City Council and the Norfolk School Board on Tuesday, September 27, 2016 at 4 p.m. the 10th floor conference room in City Hall. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. May I ask, a, may I ask a question? Me. Do we have City Council meeting that day? No, sir. Sir. Just, this, no. just, just that meeting, yes. yes. Okay, good. I want to make sure we had enough time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? I am so looking forward to this, and I have lots of things to discuss. Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. R34, and we have a speaker, Ellis W. James. 
Mr. Clerk, read the title. Uh, 30, R34 is a resolution establishing a Naval Station Norfolk Centennial Commission and appointing its members. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, Mr. Jones. My name is Ellis W. James. I reside at 2021 Ken Lake Place here in the city of Norfolk. Um, I need to just simply make a suggestion from a historical perspective, being such a young puppy, you know. I guess most of the members of this council know who the other people who were discriminated against here in Norfolk, as well as Hampton Roads. The Filipino community back in those days only were able to serve in the Navy as cooks slash chefs. And they were also segregated in the housing. Our black citizens welcomed them um, into their midst. But I discovered it as I moved through the effort that Town Board of Fair Housing made as we began to zero in on breaking the back of Jim Crow in housing. I would hope that this commission will include members of the Filipino community. They have several very important organizations that I'm sure each of you are aware of uh, that have a great deal of input in our community. And I'm sure that uh, they ought to be a part of the commission uh, in commemoration of the centennial celebration. Um, I don't think that's an outrageous request, Mr. Mayor. I think it's just practical and what we should do to be sure all of our citizens uh, feel and understand that we are totally inclusive. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome, Mr. James. Thank you. All right, Mr. Clerk, call Adopt around. the resolution, Ms. Graves. Um, I wrote I, but we were questioning whether or not we would have the opportunity to appoint more yes. people. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes, okay. Yes, I, I. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Uh, thank you, Mr. James. I think that was, uh, that was a good education for me. So I appreciate your comments, and I vote aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. Uh, Mr. Clerk, you have R35 and R36? Yes, sir. Two additional items. Uh, the, the R35 is a resolution expressing the thanks and appreciation of the Norfolk City Council to Barclay C. Wynn for 16 years of service to the city while serving as a member of City Council. Adopt the resolution. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Aye. And R36 is a resolution expressing the thanks and appreciation of the Norfolk City Council to Andrew A. Protegiru for six years of service to the city while serving as a member of the Norfolk City Council. Dispense, uh, adopt the resolution, Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. I only wish that um, they both could have been here with us this evening um, because they were a part of us, the council family. I vote aye. Ms. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? I saw um, Andy walking earlier today. He looked very happy. So something for all of us to strive for. He does. He looks very relaxed. And I'm very glad he's Aye. happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Mr. Alexander? Real good. Aye. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor.